Hello everyone. Once again, welcome back to my Billbook channel. I'm Prem and I've got another amazing feature for you, the serialization. In this video, I'll give you a walk through on how to search invoices using the serial or IMEI number and also how to create one. But before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. To enable serialization, we have to click on items from the navigation bar. Then we have to click on item settings button and on this pop-up screen we can see enable serial number slash IMEI once we toggle on this button we can see the field name here you can enter any field name as per your requirement and click on save now as our serialization is enabled let's create an item we have to click on create item button here we can see that enable serialization for this item toggle is on Please note that you cannot enable batching and serialization at the same time. Now let's enter the item name. Select the category. To enter item code, either we can enter it manually or click on the generate barcode. Here either we can enter the opening stock. So we'll get a list of serial numbers. Or we can simply leave it as blank and go on with the pricing details. Now, we have a section of serial numbers. As we have seen, if we add opening stock from here, we'll get a list to enter the serial numbers or we can enter a serial number here. And notice that opening stock is increasing. So if we enter five, we'll get the five empty boxes where we can fill our serial numbers. Another way to enter serial number is by scanning serial number. Once we click here, we can scan the serial numbers with the scanning barcode gun. Now, as we have entered the serial numbers here, we can click on save and save this item. As we can see, our item is successfully created. Here we can see the serial numbers. We have a search bar option where we can enter the serial number and search them. Also, we get a drop down list of filters like sold and unsold. If we click on all, we'll get a sum of all. Now let us create a sales invoice to see how serialization works. We'll click on sales. We'll click on create sales invoice. First, we add a party. Then we'll add our item. Once we'll click on the serial item, this pop-up screen will open where we can search the serial numbers or we can select from the serial numbers here. Once we've selected, we can click on save and then we can click on done. Please note, if you're adding an item and if you're trying to create a new item, you cannot enable serialization from this pop-up screen. So please note, if you're creating an item from sales invoice or purchase invoice, you cannot create a serialization item. You have to go on the dedicated create item page. Moving ahead, we we'll click on save. And as our sales invoice is created, we'll head back to items. And here, when we'll apply the sold filter, we can see the serial number, the date it was created and the invoice number with sold on it. If you wish to adjust the stock, you can click on the adjust stock button and here you can enter the quantity. As you'll enter the quantity, you'll get to enter the serial numbers. Now, as you're done with it, you can click on save and your item will be added. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. To know more about the upcoming features of my bill book, you can click right here. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.